with you. Okay. So it says, um, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that ye shall show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And then Peter quote that Hosea uh, 1 and 10 to back up. Peter followed the rules of the Bible. He followed the rules of the Bible. He quote first, he quoted two verses in one. Let me go back to Peter verse 9. This is 1 Peter 2 and 9. He quoted Exodus 19 and 6, and he quoted Deuteronomy 7 and 6, all in one verse. He let it be known, this is a holy nation, a peculiar people, a special people. See, above all people of the, uh, on the earth. This is who he chose. They, he was a chosen nation. I know a bunch of people. <clears throat> then Peter, he quoted uh, Hosea chapter 1 verse 10. He said, let me see, show what he said first. Uh, this first Peter 2 and 10 which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God. And Peter talking to the Gentiles. He talking to those Israelites that didn't know that they was Israelites. That's why he said they're not a people. But he was quoting Hosea chapter 1 verse 10 to back up what he was saying. He wasn't just coming out of his mouth. I think, I think, and I believe, see, he wasn't doing all that. He was quoting the scripture. Hosea 1 and 10, he said, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it is said unto them, what place is that? Ye are not my people. See, that's what Peter, Peter said. In time past, it was said that you ain't his people. He said, there it shall be said unto them, ye are the children, the sons of the living God. So, Peter was quoting this verse, and he was letting it be known that just because Paul was talking to these people, don't y'all think that he done got rid of the, the nation of Israel? See, I'm talking to the nation of Israel. Let's go to 1 Peter, the first verse. He gonna let it be known who he talking to. Uh, 1 Peter 1 and 1. He said, Peter, an apostle of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Galatia Cappadocia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bethina. See, this is who he's talking to. He was talking to the scattered Israelites that didn't know that they was Israelites. That's why he said strangers scattered. That strangers went for people outside of Israel who didn't know that they go back to the the bloodline, the, the holy nation of Israel. Because it was said to them that they wasn't God's people. And this is what it's being said to our people. Y'all Jamaicans and Bohemians and Haitians and uh, uh, what is it? Trinidadians, Puerto Rican, Mexican, uh, Bolivians, all this mess. But let me get Jeremiah chapter 
chapter 8, verse 3. Because, yeah, they they telling us, you not God's people. Y'all not God's people. And they saying they God's people. And nobody trying to check them. Nobody haven't been trying to check them. Only the ones who have waken up to their nationality, these are the only ones that make mention of it. And so by them saying that we are not his people, now they confuse. That's why 2 Corinthians 4 and 4 it says, He has blinded the minds of those that believe not. Because they so blind when somebody tell them they're not going to believe it. And, and, and Jeremiah 8 and 3 is talking about it. It says, And death shall be chosen rather than life by all the residue of them that remain of this evil family, which remain in all the places whether I have driven them, says the Lord of hosts. See, all these places is talking about the, the land of their captivity. This is where they've been told that you're not the people of God. Let me get that in um, First King. Where's these places? And Peter, it's, it's said in Peter that they were scat, uh, scattered abroad. Uh, let's see here. First Kings. First Kings eight. Oh, first King 8 and 46. It says, If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy, so that they carry them away captive unto the land of the enemy. That's those places where they're being told that you're not the, the, the Israelites, you're not the people of God, and those the land of their enemy. Let me get the next verse. <clears throat> verse 47. It says, Yet if they shall bethink themselves in the land whether they were carried captives and repent and make supplications unto thee in the land of them that carried them captives, saying, We have sinned and have done perversely. We have committed wickedness. See, this, this is the place where the children of Israel was told, You're not the children of Israel. You're a bunch of blacks. You're a bunch of Hispanics. You're a bunch of Native American Indians, savages. See, you're just some slaves. You're just some colored people, some dark people. See, blackie. Let's get that. This is why <clears throat> they don't know that they are the sons of the living God. <clears throat> Deuteronomy 28. And let's see here. 20, 28 and 37, it says, And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all the nations, whether the Lord shall lead you. So he led us into the land of our enemies, and in that land, they calling us a byword. They calling us words that's not uh, the name of who we are. They calling us a proverb. See, they, when they say you color people, that's just ridiculous. You got a, a father with a last name. You came from a nation that has history, 
that has records, that has culture, that has a language. You came from somewhere. You just didn't pop up out of the ground or fall out the sky. Let me read that again. It say, this Deuteronomy 28 and 37. And you shall become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all the nations, whether the Lord shall leave you. So the Lord led us into these other nations where they call us bywords. Okay, let me try this song. Psalms 44 and 14. <clears throat> it says, You maketh us a byword among the heathen, a shaking of the head among the people. So the heathen, these other nations, they tell us, you not no Israelites, you not from the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Issachar, Naphtali, see, you're not from these nations. You're not uh, from the tribe of Simeon, Gad, Reuben. You're not from the Israelites, man. Y'all just black people. You, you're nobodies. You, you, your history is untraceable. You can't trace your history. That's what they telling you. The heathens is telling you. But our people are choosing death because they're listening to these heathens. They'll go into Christian church in the Muslim mosque or the Jew or whatever Jew, the synagogue of these imitators, and they'll listen to the people. Let me get that. See, it's precepts to back up what you're talking about in this Bible. You just don't talk about what you think. You speak what the word is saying. Okay, Deuteronomy <clears throat> chapter 28, starting at, well, let's see here, 2864, it says, And the Lord shall scatter you among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods see which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone so when they when it, when when the israelites were scattered into these into the land of their enemies that's when they acquired these bywords you black you hispanic you colored people you afro american you African American, y'all a bunch of Africans. See, you acquire all these bywords because the heathen is gonna call you this byword. The heathen don't know where you came from. See, if you don't know, they definitely don't know. If you don't know, they're not finna come tell you either. If they hear you come from this king, this wonderful kingdom over here, and your people was rich. They don't, they're not gonna care. If you if you tell somebody, I'm Bill Gates, uh, uh, I'm Bill Gates' illegitimate child, and he don't he, he don't wanna accept me. He has he slept with my mama, but he don't wanna accept me, but I'm really his child and I'm filthy rich. I'm supposed to be rich. And you in the in the hood in the ghetto with them, they not gonna care. They gonna say, well, you need to go tell your daddy Bill Gates to come get you. If, if that's who you uh you supposed to be rich, why you ain't with them? They not gonna care. They not gonna say, well, I'll take give you a ride where he at. <laughs> they don't give a damn. They gonna say, what is you doing in the hood with me? 
you don't supposed to be here. They're not going to give you your identity. Only you and your people.